Now, thousands of people have descended on central London as they get ready to vent their anger at what they see as irresponsible and reckless bankers. At the same time, police have found a dead body at a protest camp near the Bank of England. More than 30 people were arrested after demonstrators clashed with riot police on Wednesday. Riot police tried to disperse crowds by using batons. Many banks have stepped up security and hundreds of officers are lining the streets. Meanwhile, workers in the Square Mile were advised not to wear suits to avoid becoming targets. More protests were planned in London for the G20 meeting on Thursday. Themes for demonstrators include the war, the environment and also the current financial system. Let's go to other news now. At least eight people are feared dead after a helicopter with 16 people on board ditched in the sea off the northeast Scottish coast. Eight others have been reported missing. The search for any survivors continues. The Bond Super Puma aircraft was carrying 14 passengers and two crew. It was returning from an oil platform when it went down 55 kilometers from the Aberdeenshire coastline. Rescue vessels had spotted two overturned life rafts in the water. Weather conditions in the area were reportedly calm and dry. Oil company BP said the aircraft was operating on its behalf. Global governance, global financial crisis and global economics. World leaders from G20 countries meet in London to discuss stability, growth and jobs. How will G20 leaders confront the global economic crisis? And what further coordinated action will they propose? For all the analysis and answers, we bring you the latest on-the-spot G20 news from London, only on CCTV International.